world's largest learning company, Pearson, said today it will spend $200 million to acquire Credly as it works to boost its presence in the workforce skills sector. Let's talk more about the deal with Pearson CEO Andy Bird. Andy, good to see you this morning. Congrats on this transaction. Take us through the deal uh, a little bit. Is part of the reason why you pulled the trigger because of this uh, this labor shortage that has been caused because of the pandemic? Good morning. It's great to be on the show with both of you. Um, we, we've known Credly for, for a long time. In fact, we had a 20% um, stake in the company. So the deal today is really uh, about us paying $140 million for the remaining 80% of the company. And during the time that uh, we've been on the board and, and been involved with Credly, we've been so impressed by the quality of the management, the leadership team, and the growth, as you say, in the need for accreditation amongst individuals beyond formal education, uh, particularly when we look into what's happening, as you say, in the labor market and the need for employers to offer learning opportunities to their employees um, at a scale that we've, we've never seen before. Andy, it's Julie here. So I'm curious, more writ large, how much of your business going forward do you think is going to be sort of reskilling and professional education and how much is going to be traditional education, college education, lower education, et cetera? Well, I really believe in a lifetime of learning, and I think the pandemic has acted as an accelerator in that regard. And what we see is, firstly, a huge opportunity. It's the biggest addressable market for, for learning in terms of learning in the workforce. And we're really building Pearson around um, a number of divisions to really focus on key aspects of learning at key moments in an individual's life and then bringing all of those together. You know, one of the interesting things with the uh, announcement today of the acquisition of Credly is how it aligns with an, uh, an acquisition we made at year end of a company called Fathom, which is an AI driven data analytics company that focuses on employees and employers and really un gets employers to understand the needs, the learning needs of individual employees. When you take that and you put in Pearson's core competencies around uh, designing and delivering courseware, and now you add Credly, the accreditation piece, you know, Credly have issued over 50 million accreditations to over 25 million learners around the world. It starts to bring a unique end-to-end -end solution to employers and employees. Andy, the pandemic has really, I think, forced a lot of folks to enter the job market very quickly, perhaps skipping college or uh, just forcing them even early, perhaps uh, foregoing a, a master's degree. What do you think the longer term impacts from the pandemic will be uh, on your education business? Well, I think greater fluidity. I think there is a, a, a point about maybe redefining what higher education means to certain individuals. Um, certainly, individuals now are used to more bite-sized education, learning on their own time. And higher education, formal education, plays a very, very important part in that. Um, clearly, it's been disrupted during the pandemic, but those fundamentals that exist within the college and university system are, are invaluable to an individual's learning journey. Um, but what we're seeing now is that being supplemented by opportunities to continue your learning journey as you gain employment. Andy, I, I have what might be a strange question for you. Do you think that, um, not necessarily because of our education system, but maybe partly so, but also because of the social media ecosystem, that people right now are undereducated, not just about their expertise, but sort of about life and how to approach the world well i indeed and i think there is a there's a there's a great question there around how you define education and really at pearson you know we're, we're building the world's leading digital media learning company and so we're really focusing on learning of which education and formal education is a subset and the way that you receive your learning 
can take many, many different forms and can take place at many different times in your life. And that's all being driven by technology, by AI, you know, I think the introduction of 5G and virtual reality, the good old metaverse and everything like that are all interesting areas in which an individual is going to be able to, to, to learn going forward. And I want to ensure that Pearson is front and center in that development. Andy, I'm, I'm sure you definitely uh, understand the importance of the, the metaverse. I mean, you were Disney International chairman coming from that con consumer company before you joined uh, Pierce. I mean, do you view yourself as a future player in the metaverse? Are you developing technologies to be part of that? We're, we're certainly spending time studying it. I think it's very interesting if you look at the opportunity to have immersive learning experiences. I mean, there have been examples already in um, uh, uh, games such as Fortnite. You know, they, they've done Ariana Grande concerts and things like that within the Fortnite game, but they've also started to play with learning experiences. And um, you see platforms such as TikTok getting into the learning business and getting into the resume business. And so I think, you know, the, the opportunity that technology now provides an individual to choose not just the form of learning, but where they learn and how they learn, bite-sized learning is now you know, a, a very possible because of uh, the advent of technology. And as we see the strides that 5G will enable in terms of you know, augmented reality, virtual reality, imagine the three of us being able to go off to the Colosseum in Rome and have a lesson uh, being surrounded by our environment um, in a much more rich and immersive experience. Hey, sign me up for that, Andy. None of that was in existence uh, when I went to school. I know as I think I'm still paying stuff uh, for college that I really learned anything about. But we'll leave it there. Pearson CEO, Andy Berg, good to see you. Congrats on the deal. We'll talk to you soon.